Good morning, Cougars. Today is Wednesday, February 24th, 2016. My name is Sierra, and I'm here with my friend Kaylee. We're glad that you're watching. Today's Cougar Cafe mini features, choice one, nachos with meat and cheese, choice two, PB&J, choice three, ham and cheese roll up, choice four, yogurt with muffin munchable, choice five, taco salad. Hey girls, this Friday is the father-daughter dance. Are you planning to come? Bring your dad for an awesome night of dancing and sweet treats. Tickets are $5 in advance and $7 Friday night at the door. Now here's Melissa talking about a new place you should come and visit. Come and share the joy with families and friends at Malvi's Marshmallows. Malvi's Marshmallows has lots of flavored marshmallows like raspberry, vanilla, chocolate, and much more. Now selling Malvi's Hot Cocoa and mini marshmallows and bite-sized marshmallows too. Malvi's Marshmallow is a great place for celebrations. I am totally going there this weekend. Congrats to the Ortonkin... Oratorical contest. Fifth grade students wrote speeches and written it in front of a lot of speeches. Here, judges, here are winning speeches by Sierra Blocaire and DJ Fratt. How my best brings out the best in others. I may only be 11 years old, but I have learned that this smile, combined with a cheerful and positive attitude, has the ability to bring out the best in others around me. I discovered this to be true last summer, as I sat in the living room of my great-grandmother. You see, my great-grandmother has Alzheimer's disease. She doesn't recognize me anymore, and she doesn't remember my name. Her world is now one of confusion. It seems like one day she was fine. Then, the next thing I know, my great-grandmother, who used to meet me at the door with kisses, now looks at me as if I'm a complete stranger. Instead of focusing on the fact that I am no longer familiar to her, I try to focus on what I can give to her. I was allowed to take my great-grandmother out for a walk around the yard, and she allowed me to hold her hand, even though I was unrecognizable. I smiled, and she immediately returned her smile back to me. I could feel her happiness. At that moment, I realized it didn't matter that she no longer remembered most of the family memories. I realized that my simple smile and my happy attitude gave her immediate joy. Her joy made my mom, my grandma, my aunts and uncles very happy. It created this domino effect of happiness in my family that day. So, you ask me, how my best brings out the best in others? I wake up every day with the best effort to greet people with a smile. I bring the best of me, the best attitude, the best effort, my best self to each day. You never know when someone is having a bad day, and by giving a simple smile a compliment, that may be the encouragement someone needs at the moment. Then, the joy that you have helped to create in other people's lives affects those around them. That love continues to move forward in this world. I know I can't control many things in this life, but I can control me. So I choose to give love, joy, and this smile to everyone around me, even if they don't remember my name. Thank you. How my best brings out the best in others. My mom always says attitudes are like your clothes. You choose the attitudes you will wear every day. But what she doesn't know is that I have a superpower. Superman can fly, Spider-Man can climb walls, the Hulk can smash things, but my superpower is even stronger. I don't only choose my attitude, I can choose yours. Maya Angelou said, if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Call it telekinesis, call it psychic talents, call it a contagious disease, and my answer will be, you are smart and you are 100% correct. And then I will say that I am 100% certain that spending time with each of you will make me smarter, happier, and taller. Okay, maybe not taller, but did that make you smile? Did that change your attitude? You're lucky. I just exposed my true powers to you. 
Wade Boxer said, A positive attitude causes a chain reaction of positive thoughts, events, and outcomes. In the song Cool Kids by Echo Smith, there is the line, I wish that I could be like the cool kids. That song is an example of peer pressure where you want to be like your friends or peers. You can use good peer pressure to encourage your peers to do their homework, play a sport, volunteer, or any of many other great activities. Here are five ways I use my superpower every day with some of my favorite quotes included. Number one, when I see you, I smile. Evan Julian Lilly has said, even if you're unhappy, just pretend that you're happy. Eventually, your smile will become contagious to yourself. Have you ever had a really bad day and then someone smiles at you and you instantly feel better? Number two, when I see you, I can also ask how your day was. What you have to say every day is important. By showing interest in people, you show them how much they matter to you. Number three, when you are in a tough spot, I will encourage you to push through it. Dave Eggers has said, be strong, be brave, be true, and endure. One time, my teammate was getting pinned in wrestling. He wanted to give up, but I encouraged him to get out of it. The Hulk uses his super strength to crush things, to break them down, but I use my super strength to lift you up. Listen, here's the downside of my superpower. I'm not the only one that has it. See, anyone can change others' attitudes. You can even change mine, which leads me to numbers four and five. Number four, when you talk, I will listen and ask questions. I want to know about what you do best and what makes you unique. That is how your best can bring out the best in me and you together. Number five, when you are in a tough spot, when I am in a tough spot, it, I will think about what I have learned from you. The teammate who I encouraged to get out of a pin later encouraged me to get out of a pin. He said, keep trying, keep working, don't quit. I brought out his best before, now it's his turn to bring out mine. Let me close with the following question. Are you feeling great right now? Yeah, me too. And hey, does anyone have a measuring tape? I think I may have actually grown a little. Good luck at the county level, DJ and Sierra. They will be reciting these speeches next week. We're rooting for you. Now it's time for the pledge. After the pledge, we'll have a moment of silence. Attention, salute, pledge. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Cougars. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.